Warning, I swear a lot. Welcome back, we are back. It's a trap, and I'm standing on the rooftop. Shout it out. Baby, I'm ready to go. This room is empty. This is shit. Yep, this is shit. Da, 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 da. We're gonna find something today. Something. We found Henri. That was nice. So is there a way I can attack that main hall without getting fucked on? Because that would be nice. Because despite what my appearance may actually describe to you, I don't like getting fucked on. Uh, not keen, actually. It's, uh, you know, it sucks. I don't like it. Let's take care of you first. This is good. This is exactly what I wanted. Dickhead. That felt good. That felt damn good. Alright. We're in it now. I've got a lot of souls. Should probably use them. I'm not gonna, but I probably should. Oh fuck. I seize it! There we go. That works. Aren't there supposed to be other guys here? Lightning gem. Don't need it. This actually, yeah, no, this is the place. Isn't there? A yeah, there is a fog wall up there. Okay, I was very confused. I was like, did everything my eyes told me previously turn out to be a complete lie? The answer is no, but it wouldn't have surprised me if the answer was yes. Give me some of that fucking water. Like, I did a whole fucking episode with like 20 milliliters of water. I have two top tips for you if you're gonna do Let's Play. A, make sure you always have a drink with you, and B, at least make sure that at least some of the time it's just water because nothing is better for you mentally and physically than just water hydration is key as the spine said in that one song it does not open from this side god fuck you know i want to get to the f we're gonna get to that fog door we're gonna get to that fog door we're going to get to that fog door <coughs> it's gonna happen you will see you will see and you'll be really proud of me, like, man, that, that, that guy, man, that foreman, that dude. You know, I thought he was a useless piece of shit, and he is, but he made it to that funk door. He said he was going to do it, and he, he fucking did it. Meanwhile, my character is running around like he's drunk, because I was trying to control him with one hand. So that goes up to nowhere. That probably goes down to... Actually, that might open up a shortcut. Let's, let's explore. We need to explore. Judging by the layout, I would assume this... Uh, yeah, this seems like a dead end. Mostly. I knew it was a trap! A fading soul! Just to add insult to injury. Anyone else? No? Y'all good? Y'all done? You call that an ambush? I fired out a better ambush than that. This is another ambush? It is. Actually, it's not, but... I assumed it was. Now stay still, you fucking loser. Hurts, doesn't it? You'll get over it. This was mostly pointless though. Oh, hello. You thought I was gonna miss that? Undead Bone Shard. This became very worth it. This became extremely worth it. This is the greatest trade deal of all trade deals. I paid nothing and I got an Undead Bone Shard. There's gotta be some way to progress around here. I assumed it would be that downward area maybe would lead to a new area, but as it turned out, it just led to fucking nothing. Which, you know, I shouldn't be surprised by now, but it does still surprise me from time to time. This is suspicious as hell, I want to point out. That's why. Magic clutch ring. That looks cool. Increases magic attack, but compromises damage absorption. Let's just go through here, I guess, and see. This is going to be a very different tone to the last episode, which was just me screaming at the TV. And today, it's just me quietly and methodically searching the area. For not very much, doesn't seem to be a lot here. It's weird. It's weird how little there is. Don't tell me this opens. Yeah. There'd be no point putting a gate there if it opened, right? It has to be a, you got to get round to the other side. I bet I've missed something really obvious as well. I bet there's like a massive fucking door. Okay, well, we're in this now, so we'll get back to that. Uh, 
That's not good. That was even worse! There we go, that's one. I don't need to deal with this right now. I'm just trying to figure out the way forward, you see. Ah. Nope. Worth it. Maybe. We'll see. I'm using way too much Estus on these fools. Goodbye. I was thinking maybe killing all of them would like proc something perhaps to open the way, but still nothing. I'm just swinging at things hoping answers will come, and that's not a good sign. All I'm seeing is a bunch of gates that require me to be somewhere else in order to open them, but I can't get anywhere else because all the fucking gates are closed. But on the other hand, there was a bone shard at the end of this place, which means it would... That gives it the right to exist on its own. I think I just found the way forward, maybe. I'm going to die. I am struck with the overwhelming... Oh, I see. I was wondering about that, I'm not gonna lie. Just when there were eyes looking at me and I'm like, hum, wonder what that means. I don't really like- OW! Dick. Okay, well if we're fighting a bunch of fairly weak enemies, why don't we switch to ye old Executioner's Great Sword? Is this place supposed to be based off of Ulusil? Because I'm getting strong Ulusil vibes from this area. Very strong Ulusil vibes. OW! Don't do that. That's not cool, bro. Why would you do that? Oh good, they have ranged attacks. That's just great. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Oh, and they come from the sky. And they're behind me as well. That's great. This is cool. This place is cool. I like this place. Yeah, no, nah, really. This place is great. I love it. No. It's interesting because the implication is that that is solid flowing humanity. But these pieces of solid flowing humanity have managed to build, at least phase themselves a solid form. So what does that mean? How long have these been down here? Start getting some health back. I think we need it. How about... Hiya! That was really flaccid actually. You fucking dick. Wait. Oh no, he was real. He just then wasn't real for a second. For so He goes and visit. I called serious amounts of bullshit. Let's heal. No point dying now. That is a cool ass looking sheath. I love that sheath. It is a nice sheath. It is so fucking dark in here. I actually cannot properly see. I know that's the point. Oh, you guys are going to harass me while I'm on here, aren't you? Just to be really annoying. Yep. That's kind of how I expected that to go, except it would have been me falling off and not you. Are they firing spells at me? Did some rude motherfucker just cast a spell at me? Is there some uncultured dick wipe in here casting spells at me? Don't do that. You do that, you go to jail. Fuck it, in for a penny. Where the hell am I? Careful not to drop to our death, that would be unfortunate. We're near the start. I can't believe he didn't stab me. By all rights, that should have hit me and he should have stabbed me. Remember, you, you, st stop. Just, please. He didn't even stop, he just kept running at me like, I'm gonna get to him, I'll get to him eventually when I get him, oh boy. Oh, he's gonna feel it. Oh, I'm gonna get him. And then I got him, it was a dramatic, ironic twist of him. Who, what, and why? 
You motherfucker, you were completely invisible, weren't you? There was no way I could have perceived it, definitely not. But what, who, what, who screamed and why? I see. Okay, it's bad enough that these things exist, but to make them invisible as well is highly unfair. May as well just keep swinging around me. Oh. Really? Mother- I- This area sucks. <laughs> Why? Why does the game do this? Why does it have cool sections with enemies with really cool attacks, really cool designs, really interesting and awesome, and then it follows up with areas with enemies with stupid fucking gimmicks? Invisibility! You're just gonna give your enemies invisibility! Are you out of your fucking mind? Why? What part of your brain was like, this is good game design, the enemy's invisible. Figure this one out, dickhead. Why? This is my whole problem with Dark Souls 3. It comes so close to doing cool shit, and it does do cool shit, and then it ruins it by doing something stupid. It's like that friend, and we all know one. God knows I'm probably that friend to some people, but like, they tell a really funny joke. And you're like, that was fucking hilarious. That was such a good joke, it was really funny. And then they follow it up with something like stupid or offensive. And you're like, why? You were doing so well. You should have just walked away while you were winning. But you just kept going. That is Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls 3 is that friend. It does so well, and then it fucks up. And you're like, you shouldn't have fucked up. It was very easy to not fuck up. You're the one, aren't you? Die. I got your blood gem. What are you going to do about it, nerds? I guess you're supposed to listen out for them, but still, invisible enemies is a big no-no. In any game, I can't think of a single game that was improved by invisible enemies. Can you? I'm not even a fucking game designer, developer, designer, develop man. The only good thing about invisible enemies is it just made me look like a fucking badass, and that's it. That is the only good thing. That's a boss arena. That's a boss arena. That has to be a boss arena. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go and, and gather up these items, and then we're gonna go in there. Well, actually, I'm gonna gather up these items. I'm gonna go to the bonfire and, like... No! No! No, you stop that! That is very bad! That is the worst thing I have ever seen! That was the worst thing I have ever seen! And it was just that. Are you the corpse of the one I just killed, or one that has long since been dead? Or do you just look like one? I don't know. That was the worst thing that has ever happened. I didn't even die from it. In fact, I killed it easily, but that was the worst thing that has ever happened. And I swear to God, if it happens again, someone is getting a spanking. I don't know who, but someone. That was awful. What the fuck was that? It was like that fucking Japanese horror of the little girl with the long black hair times a million and bred with a spider. What you people don't understand is that I may just be 25 years old, but I am very old. I'm much older than my age implies, and I don't need the blood pressure. I don't need those spikes in my blood pressure. We're ignoring everyone and everything around here. Ignoring you guys. Consider yourselves ignored. Losers. Nerds. Please tell me that thing was just a one-off and will never come back. This is too open. Something's gonna come get me. It has to. I've built a... This can't just be nothing. It really felt like a boss arena. What the gosh darn fucking hell is that? Is that a corpse? It better be a corpse. Ah! That actually scared me! No! No! 
You stop that! You stop that now! You stop that! Look. I don't play up fear noises, okay? I've played things that have scared me, and all I've done is just gone, ah, like not even done a proper big fright and react to it. That moment where those two fucking cunts, for lack of a better term, were skittering towards me, I felt the most visceral and real fear reaction that I felt in a long time. That was horrible. That touched something deep within me in a very bad way. In a very upsetting way. I am extremely uncomfortable right now. I am extraordinarily uncomfortable right now. That was one of the worst things I have ever seen. I hope to whatever higher power or deity that may or may not exist, that moving forward there are no more of those because they're not even tough, they're just horrible. And I I would rather fight a million of those Irithyll knights simultaneously than fight one more of those fucking spider ladies. That was awful. I need a hug. I actually need a hug right now. <laughs> that was so upsetting. On a deeply, deeply personal level. <laughs> I don't like it. I do not like it at all. Hey, another bonfire. I'll take it. Where the fuck am I? Why do I feel like I was walking towards a jump scare there? That's probably because that's just the kind of fucking mentality I'm in. But we made progress. That's all I've got time for today. I didn't think that I would be mentally scarred today, but here we are. Me, very upset. I am just a small man, a very small man, who's very upset. Oh, that's gonna stick in my brain for a while. I'm probably gonna have a dream about that. <laughs> but that's not your problem. Thank you so much for watching. There are multiple directions we can go in next time, so... More things will be done. I'll probably die a few more times. Progress will be made. Etc, <laughs> etc. Et Thank you so much for watching, and whatever happens next time, and things will happen next time, I hope I see you there. Doodles. Goodbye.